Shalom, Yasharallah. All praises and glory goes to our power, Yahweh. By Shimmy outside, by Shimmy Kakwabash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations unto the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh. By Shimmy outside, sincerity and the truth, man, with the scriptures, the Bible verses, and the precepts. Line upon line, here a little, there a little. Yeah, spread the good news for to who the children of Israel, man. Yeah, um, what are we looking at here? What are we looking at here, man? We're looking at, um, Eve and trust the trust the devil. Eve and trust the devil. Look at the devil's grill. Look at this motherfucker. There's nothing white about this devil. Only the only his eyes, man. The white part of his eyes. That's the only thing white about him, man. That's the only thing white about. Him. Look look at this red red piece of um you know human um waste. That's what he is. Human waste. That's what you eat in my are. Human waste. Yeah, but the spirit but the spirit hopped on him to do what man? to set this bitch on fire, man. He straight barbecued the whole at a barbecue. I'm going to read this. It says, up in flames, my husband accidentally, that's how dumb the, the, the so-called black woman is. My husband accidentally set me on fire after he sprayed barbecue with lighter fluid, but I forgave him. I forgave him. Look at her. Yeah, she'll never be the same again. I know my man got little. He ain't with this woman no more. There's no way you can stay with this monster. There's no way you would be able to stay with this monster. <laughs> Yeah, the Lord too. No, the Lord got you. You, you, you so-called Israelite women are, you Israelite black women are getting it. Hispanic women are getting Lord killing your asses. You going out at night and you ain't coming back home, man. They find your remains, your, your, your dried ass bones and, the, and that wig. That's how they identify like you bitches. The receipt on that wig on your motherfucking dry ass um, remains. That's what, that's how they identify you bitches and by them fake ass eyelashes. Yeah, that, that's your future, and you keep fucking trusting the devil. What the scripture said, man? Yeah, let me go to the book of Ecclesiastes 12. And we're going to read Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. <laughs> and what it say? Never trust thine enemy, man. Never trust thine enemy. <laughs> I don't, oh, no. The, what they did to us was in the past. We got we to gotta forgive those people. That, plus, they're not alive. It's their children now. Those people died off. Yeah. You got to forgive your fellow mankind. Your fellow mankind. I'm reading says, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, man. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And, and thou shalt be unto him as thou have wiped this a uh, looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. No, it ain't the past. It's them same people right now, man. That wickedness ain't, ain't left them. They're still the same devils that we let dealt with in the past. From your Renaissance, from your Roman Empire, your Greco-Roman Empire. From the time the Babylonians are cutting us off, man. These devils never cared for us, man. The scriptures let you know that. <laughs> yeah, these words are not in this book just for um for you for the Lord to sell books. No, uh, uh, these words for our wisdom and our knowledge and our learning, man. They've been before our foretime for our learning so we can know what, how to deal with this, what we're going about to go through in the times that we're in. And the Lord told you not to trust your enemies because your enemies has never changed their agenda. Right now, you got Edomites practicing, preparing to kill niggas, <laughs> preparing to kill Mexicans and Native Americans, preparing to kill you. Yeah, that's, they ready to kill you. I'm going to read it. says, man accused of killing black man in practice running, in practice run charged with terrorism. Now, this is what, a few years ago? 2017. They've been practicing for a long, a mighty long motherfucking time. <laughs> yeah, They're preparing to kill niggas. <laughs> and Mexicans and Hispa Hispanics. <laughs> Native Americans. There's about to be a lot of dead Israelites in America, man. Man accused of killing black man in practice run charged with terrorism. James Jackson, it says, who is accused of attacking Timothy Callman from behind with a sword in New York, said he intended in um, debtor interracial relationships. 
and it says a white suspect accused of fatally stabbing a black man on a Manhattan street has been indicted on charge of murder as an act of terrorism. But well, the thing is, here's the thing that gave me. What did he say he was doing? Um, it reads, James Harrison, 28, appeared briefly in what? In court. And it says, and did not speak. <laughs> and did not speak. Prosecutors had previously also charged him with murders as a hate crime. Jackson's attorney had no commitment. It says, white veteran regarded fatal stabbing of black man as practice for larger attack. I'm going to read that. I'm going to read it again. White veteran regarded fatal stabbing of black man as practice for a larger attack. They've been practicing. Who's their targets? Who's their main targets? You niggas. <laughs> you Hispanics. You Native Americans. That's they, they hate you. They hate you. And the book Ezekiel will tell you that. The book of Genesis 8. Hey, Esau said, man, after his daddy died, he's going to kill his brother. He said, now my dad didn't die. I'm going to kill this motherfucker. This nigga took all my shit. <laughs> That's how Esau feel, man. Esau feel like we took his blessing. So what? He want, he want to kill something. And he's practicing, preparing for that last and final great, beautiful conflict. The battle between good and evil. Yeah. <laughs> and um, guess what? Esau going to fuck us up through the spirit of the Lord. We don't need the Lord to intervene to help us. That's why the Lord coming back to save us, man to save us. All you niggas with them guns, prepare to die, nigga. <laughs> prepare to die. Yeah, let me read the book Ezekiel 35 and um, 5. It says, um, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. It's a perpetual hatred. It's been going on for a long time. It's in, he's now planning on stopping his hatred. It's a continual hatred for you people, you Israelites. Don't worry. The way he dealt with you, he didn't deal with other nations that way. These other nations still in their own land, own homelands, got their own rules and regulations. But with you, he brought you down. The Lord put in spirit in him to destroy us. <laughs> it reads, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh, power, I will prepare blood unto I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, saith the Lord, saith Yahweh, because thou hast not, because saith, thou has not hated blood, even the blood shall pursue thee. Man, these devils are, yeah, you can't cool, Ku Klux Klan, Mr. Scary Man, you gotta hide your face, you man, that's how, that's a, that's a killer, that's a killer, you saw, you saw Ben rocking the mask, you saw Ben rocking the mask, Hang, hangings and lynchings and burnings and, um, villages setting towns on fire um flooding towns and turning them into rivers and lakes so they could have their little play play areas in the water that's that's how that's what this devil did to our people man and he thinks he's gonna get away from it man. hell no man the lord's preparing what that motherfucking race war that motherfucking race war yeah that's what's coming what the bible say what the bible say man? let's get this other verse man. let's get this other verse Yeah, the words of this book is faithful and true. Faithful and true, and they're going to come to pass. They're going to come to pass, man. Whether you hear or you forbear. I'm going to go to the book. Oh, we're going to go to the Apocrypha. Yeah. Let's go to the Apocrypha. Let's do 2nd Ezra, um, 2nd Ezra 15 and 15. And it says, what? For the sword. What's coming? What's coming? for the sword and their destruction. We've been telling you people, we've been giving you warning about what the Lord's bringing. Yeah, I wish I said I come with a fire and a sword. <laughs> right? I come with fire and a sword. And the scriptures say what? <laughs> it says, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people, one people, it says, you were born just in time to fight the race, fight the race war. Yeah, that's, because in their heart, you got these so-called black men, militias, these black militias coming together, Mexican militias, all type of things, white militias, <laughs> all these groups of people coming together for what? For this fucking last and final war, man, this race war is called second, I mean, it's in the book of second, Ezra 15 and 15, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another with what? With swords in their hands, yeah, it's about to get crazy out here. 
about to be crazy out here. It's about to be a lot of innocent people that die. It's about to be a lot of women being ravaged, a lot of children being killed, a lot of houses being set on fire. Be prepared for a lot of gunfire. <laughs> Why? Because the, for the sword in their destruction, draw nine. One people shall stand up. One people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hand. Egyptian against Egyptian. City against city. Neighbor against neighbor. Friend against friend. <laughs>